Hi, welcome back. In the last lesson, we learned how to add content to our batches by using the add link, the embed, and also by uploading from your hard drive. Today, we're going to learn how to add content with our slide batch import feature. And that is really neat. Wait till you see what it can do. So first thing you do is you scroll down and you just choose a batch that you would like to add content to. Let's go ahead and add content to our Porter Collie Sports batch. Okay, then to add content, you simply click on the red plus button. And this time we're going to import so Slide Batch allows you to import from all of these various places, Google Drive, Facebook, Dropbox, Box, OneDrive, Instagram, or URL. We're going to import some pictures from my Instagram. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Instagram. Now it's loading all of my Instagram pictures because I had previously gave it permission to do so. So, you can scroll down and choose a picture that you like. Here's one of my Border Collie Bell catching a Frisbee. I'll go ahead and upload that. Well, here she is with her big nose. That would be a nice one too. Oh, here she is as a puppy. Okay, I'll upload that too. Oh, here she is in the snow. Oh, I'm just a sucker for Border Collies. Oh, and there she is. All right, so I have several things that I'd like to upload. And click on the Upload button. Okay, Slide Batch is processing it. And while it is processing it, I'll go ahead and click Done. And it's going to take a few seconds to process these. But the neat thing is, is that you know, you have pictures on your Instagram and you can put them into your slide batch if you choose, you know, and if it's relevant, obviously. And here they are, they're popping up. There she is, Belle in the Snow. Um, and while the rest of the pictures from Instagram are processing, what I wanted to also show you was that um, if you notice, there's an icon in each of the pieces of content. If it's an image, you'll see, obviously, the camera image. If it is a video, you'll see the camera video icon or a link icon. Another thing I'd like to show you as far as scrolling through the content in your batches is if you click on this filter, it allows you to look at all the media at once or filter it by type. If you only wanted to look at your videos in this specific batch, you can do so. You know, depending on what you have. You can also look at it according to documents, images, and you can also add audio. Okay, so this is our importing feature that we had. We'll look at all media. It's being a little quirky, but um, <laughs> the, this is all the media that we have added to this specific batch. Well, thank you very much for joining us for this specific video, and we'll see you next time.